canceling your client's nail appointment. Oh my gosh, how do I do this? My client's gonna freak out, but you gotta do it. We're gonna talk about exactly how to go about this right now on the Biz Talk. I'd like I'm to cancel something. <laughs> You know, lately I've been losing in the race to like first order. You take a deep order. breath. I wait for the breath. <laughs> you do. I do. <laughs> I take a deep breath and I've got something to say and you always beat me. And what's funny is I was going to say the same thing. I've got something to cancel. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Like. Greg, we'd like to cancel. <laughs> we'd like to cancel Greg. Always. You know, what's funny. Yesterday I had a, um, we had a marketing social media class, right? That yeah. I was doing. And of course, the first thing I say is like. I have more people than Greg and like just ripping on him and like he's my brother. The minute and, you walked in, he's all, guess what, bro? Yeah, <laughs> I was. I was like, you know, and you know, obviously he's got, he's got a class every single week, right? And I have one every like two months, but Doesn't I'm still, matter. I'm still going to rub it in his freaking face, man. Oh, Gotta dude. do it. When I have a YouTube video that does better than his, that's, I'm just like dancing around him. Like, oh yeah. Yeah. Check it out, bro. Have you seen it? Have you you want to watch it? Look, seen this part? Like one more view than you. <laughs> <laughs> He's got like how many videos? I know, I know, <laughs> I know. It's but we have that's the culture here, and we need to make fun of rub it in his face, rub it in his face much. as much as possible. Okay, so does he um, watch these like this. <laughs> I don't know if he actually does. I hope he does. Yeah, because I want him to see I want, I want the tear. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, so this is an interesting situation. I never thought about, but mm. we had. Um, a question come through one of uh one of our customers or somebody that that follows us on social media basically said how do i cancel like i need to cancel uh an appointment and they don't want to do that i can understand that like you don't want to like upset your client or customer um or maybe it's that you should take a break mm. because you're going 97 hours a day and like how do I, I'm a workaholic I need to take a break but I just can't I think those are two different kind of situations with the same result of commuting communicating to your clientele of like look I'm I need to take two weeks off or a week <laughs> off right people are gonna be pissed yeah yeah <laughs> I, I've been there. Like, I know that you dread it. One of the problems is we look at it as this whole, like we're in a front of room with all of our clients and they're mm. all going to attack you at once. It's a one-on-one, -on one, one-on-one one basis. Right. But you dread it. it. It's, it's the feelings real. I know I've talked about this before. I was telling you right before this, I have literally, um, been to the point of having the flu so bad that I passed out several times in the shower. But you, Okay, wait, wait, wait. You were still working yes. every day, yes. even though you were that sick. Well, it kind of just all hit me. Okay, so. <laughs> I knew I was not feeling well, but uh, clients don't typically care. They'll say, oh, oh, you're not feeling well? You should go home right after you're done with me. <laughs> of okay. course, of course. Um, you should take a vacation. Now, that's not going to affect my appointment, is it? Yeah. Like, um, but I, I literally passed out twice in the shower got out and I oh knew God. I needed help. So I went into my bedroom to get my husband to help me. And I said, Hey, and I passed <sighs> out. Yeah. Wake up. He's like, waking me up. I looked at him. I said, what time is it? And he's all tells me the time. I'm like, I got to get to work. He's like, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> what are you? But it's the holiday season, you know? Oh and my I, gosh. and that's, I, I finally learned that I have to take care of myself and when I finally just looked at it as this is a simple text, I have to cancel your appointment. I don't feel well. Done. Over. No Did conversation. You, and you just went I'm one not by asking, one by one. I'm not asking permission. See, we typically ask it with a question mark behind it. Hey, I'm not feeling well. Can um, I reschedule sorry, your appointment? I need, can I reschedule your appointment? Yeah. Is that okay? Is that okay? Oh, is that okay? No, it's not okay. That's, of course, what they're going to say. Right. And then they're going to hit you with a bunch of questions. Well, when can you get me in? Can you uh -huh. get me in tomorrow? Well, I don't know. I'm sick. I don't know if I'm working tomorrow, you know? So, it's, you know, I will let you know as soon as I'm feeling better. I will make sure I get you in. I'll work late. I'll Don't worry. I got you. But you don't want to get what I have. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So 
in okay what does that so you would just do text you wouldn't get on the phone call the clients no no okay so so just do it by text or email if if email is your preferred no if you can't if you can't text them call them okay so they're never gonna see an email yeah yeah you're right that this is very true yeah Yeah. And you want to confirm that they saw the text. Now I'm usually a phone call girl. Like if I'm firing a client, I don't do it over text. I don't do it over email. I call. But as far as being sick, I don't want to have that full on conversation with them because they're going to hit you with all those questions. Well, when can you, can you, and you're trying to get off the phone to go puke Mm. in the bathroom, you know? (laughs) So that's why I prefer the text. Like, like just, let's just make it very simple. I will get back to you as soon as I'm feeling better. I like that. And uh, I'm going to go die now. Okay, so it's a statement. It's not a question. You're going to let them know. And and how are you, like already when I hear this, it gives me anxiety mm-hmm. because I'm like, okay, you have a full book. Yeah. And you're- 50 to 60 people that week. How many? 50 to 60 people that 50 week. 50 to 60 people that week if you're if you're fully booked. And you're literally, do you do a mass, t- I guess you could do a mass text, you know, clients- uh, I would probably just do it. I would. I would. No, you I can't do a mass text because then it's do gonna it hit notes. everybody. I would yeah. do it in notes and just copy paste. Yeah, you got to do um, that. But individually. Yeah, you have to do it individually. Sorry, because then people responding, everybody's gonna be getting yeah. those texts, and no, it's like I a mass. No, I want that point. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Disaster. <laughs> then it is the mom mentality, right? Right, right. Yeah. So you got to take the time. You've got to hit them up individually. Um, that gets very busy to deal with while you're sick mm-hmm. but better to do it by text than to pick up the phone and talk to talk somebody yeah. through it but how are you reshuffling all those well i suppose it's depends on how long you're out right mm-hmm. each day you're out that's what eight to 13 14 clients yeah eight to yeah it depends i've sometimes i've done 16 in the day so yeah it just depends and are you only doing it like the night before when you're like, okay, I know for sure. I, are you doing two days notice? Like how? Because no. I'm interested in the logistics. <laughs> I am. Oh, he's like, I have questions. Of course you No, do. no, no. I do because for if I'm a nail professional and I'm listening to this right now, I want to know like, well, exactly. If I've never experienced this, like exactly what do I do? Like right. I, I need... I you need want to give steps. as much notice as possible. I'm not going to do two days ahead because unless I really like that one time when I went in, I, I've never felt that sick. And the doctor was all, this is the true f- flu. Like yeah. people think they have the flu. Yeah. You have the flu. You will be down for at least two weeks. Totally. I took a week off. <laughs> but that's a different subject. I'm, I'm going to tell on <laughs> yeah, you. I know, I'm telling the doctor. I know. Um, you know, so if I'm just not feeling well and like I... Uh, you know, uh, having a bad stomach day or, or what, migraine or something, I'm probably not going to give two days notice. I try to give people no, as much notice as possible. So like if I'm really not feeling, I'm feeling sick the night before and I know there's no way I'm going to make it till tomorrow through tomorrow, I'm going to text everybody that day for that day. Of course. Tomorrow. Um, if I'm like questioning like, man, I, I got a migraine. I don't know if I'm going to make it in the morning. I'm going to text a few in the morning. I see. Just right, to give them, yeah, give, push them back because there's that possibility that I wake up and I feel better and, and then you're good. I'm good to go. Yeah. You know, so it just depends. So in that, in that situation where you, where you were like deathly ill, did you clear like a full week out? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You did. Yeah. So you were like, no, 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 no. I, I mean, cause when you, I've had the flu, I used to get the flu every year actually. And I was out. For right. two, and I'm I'm the worst. Tracy, you wouldn't believe this. I know you you believe that Hold I'm this You're incredible, <laughs> so strong, strong mm. like can mm. take anything and everything. Mm. Mm-hmm. But when I get sick, I mm-hmm. turn into a baby. Mm. It's mm. <laughs> you no. Know, sounds like my husband. Yeah. <laughs> you couldn't possibly be as sick as I am. You're washing the dishes. No, I am. I just need know that it needs to be done. Yeah, yeah. I'm terrible. Um, but I know I'd be out for at least one week, most yeah. likely two. But in, in, in that situation, you're going to clear out. You're going to let everybody know one week's yeah. worth of clients. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then if you get better, let's say you recover quicker, then you start hitting up and saying, hey, Guess I'm actually what? Yeah. The good news. Let me know if you can keep. And then it's it's a juggling game. Right. So for me, uh, most of my clients were standing appointments. So like uh, they know this, this is your appointment every two weeks or three weeks. So... Um, what I would say is a lot of times the girls in the salon could take them. I'd say you have this option, hit up Laura, whatever, 
um, if you want to get mm. in, hit the, hit. They, they say they have some time. Um, if you want to wait, um, let's just check out your nails. Maybe you can push it till your following appointment. Sometimes that works out. Yeah. And then the I'm gonna kill myself right after I've been sick and make myself sick <laughs> to get everybody in um, again. <laughs> yes. So there, there's, there's both. But a lot of times clients are able to push. They just push, which hurts your pocketbook. Of course. But you're sick. But you're sick. Yeah. I mean, and again, this is why, you know, the nail business is not an easy business. Mm -hmm. It's not like you get sick days and like you're running your own business. You got a full clientele. There's juggling there. Even when you're sick, you you've got to put in some work to shuffle around. Um, It's that's called owning your own business, man. And I'm not going to take the next week's appointments that are standing and move them to get you in. Correct. That's I have a, to that's get you in. Otherwise, you're just you're just it's just this domino effect of you know. So it's like I will figure out. Maybe you only work four days a week, so you you schedule yourself you know, two days that you don't normally work to fix every, you know get everybody in. Is that something, Trace, that clients are used to? Like, is this some? My question is this: Should you communicate these things? when they're not happening like hey just let you know um there are times where things come up and happen and from time to time i may have like if a new client comes in you know it's like Mm -hmm. i may have to just reshuffle it's not often but it does happen for example i got sick one time you know please be understood is that something where you'd give them some kind of heads up or are they are they used to that do they know they'll never remember that conversation anyway so (laughs) here's the thing is some people are going to be completely cool and some people are going to absolutely not be cool it's very interesting is usually the ones that have uh very hard jobs uh working you know working women out there um they're usually the ones that are understanding of course the ones that don't work that have more of a free schedule are usually the ones that have the problem. It completely makes sense. It is, it's just how it is. Yeah. So guarantee some people are not going to be happy. What are they going to do? What are you going to do? I mean, I don't like it when my hair, I've had my hair appointment canceled. I don't yeah. like it. Oh, come in get me, give me the flu. No, like <laughs> I understand not happy with it. I want right. my hair done. But right. Like this, this is life. Yeah, this is life. It's funny. Cause my, my wife just, she went in, uh, she was going to go in for her appointment on Friday, right? And with the, oh, this whole situation, right? It's yeah. like, it's outdoors and it's very complicated. But um, her hairdresser was sick. Yeah. It's exactly. And <laughs> there so, it is. So that morning she got a text and- What this, did she say? This, so she was like, she was like, okay, but usually the assistant colors my hair. Can I at least come in and get that done? And they were like, oh yeah, Okay. But, but it was so, in, and, and it was fine. Like, you know, Mavette was, you know, she was like, it's, it's cool. Yeah. You know, I mean, she doesn't want to get bummer, sick. Right. Bummer, I think, she, I think that her dresser was something, something came up. I'm not sure yeah. if she was sick, but regardless, she couldn't come in, but it was a bummer. Um, but still it's like, well, can I get my hair colored at least? I mean, so I can, and, and that's kind of like middle of the road, right? It's not, of course you're bummed, but she wasn't like, ah, you know, yeah, like, you're, like you're, insane about it. You're upset about it, but I like the question. Can or can someone else, is someone else available? Is somebody else available? Oh, hit up, hit up Sarah, totally. whatever, you know, yeah. And, and that helps, you know, obviously it's going to help the, the, the hairdresser. She's like, okay, that's one thing, check that, you know, I'll get the cut done. Yeah. When I'm back next week or we'll reschedule you and put you back in. But um, for sure, like, can somebody else at least get some like uh, maintenance? Maybe it's not the full service of what you normally get done or the nail art that you get, but at least keep it, you know, reasonable. Yeah. yeah. Can they? Can I go in and get this repair done? Yeah. You know, so-and-so. You know, when you work in a, a salon and you're a team player with the other techs, there aren't going to be a team player with you. Right. I've, I've even ha- seen techs, um, and I've done this myself, um, you know, where someone was out sick and I didn't want them to lose money. So any, um, you know, client that I did, I gave them the money. That's amazing. Because, you know, we're a team. But- you know, tomorrow, I don't know if I'm going to make it into work. So can you, your paycheck, can you just hook me up? Your because- mom signs my paycheck. I don't <laughs> care. You know what? This is a good, uh, re- you always talk about this, like um, having a good relationship mm-hmm. with techs in the salon and even 
at salons around and near you, having a good relationship. But this is a huge point for having each other's back in the same salon. Mm -hmm. If you're working, have a good relationship because you got to cover, like you can cover each other and like doing that for somebody. Oh my God. Like, Hey, I'll do, I got you. Yeah. Don't worry about it. You're still going to get paid. Cause I know, I mean, obviously you, know, you need the income. I'll stay, income. I'll stay a couple hours late or I'll fit them in. I'll come in early. We'll, we'll work with it. And, and I got, I got your back. Yeah. So, um, it, it, it's, it, it sounds a little crazy, but it's amazing how down the road you never know what's going to hit you or with the situation that you're going to be in and when you've been nice to somebody they'll be nice back have you ever had a situation where you had to do this or cancel somebody's appointment and they just went kind of like crazy rude on you and you were like oh i didn't know you were that kind of person no it did happen they did not go crazy rude to me um they went crazy rude to uh the girls in the salon so wait wait somebody but was it your client or somebody else my client okay so i got a call it was actually i was teaching I was teaching, um, I was holding a class in Reading and uh, I had one of the mentors out. They were teaching because we, you know, we like to change it up Totally. You know, when I had distribution. And um, I got a call that my dad was uh, had an emergency and was in the hospital in San, San Francisco um, and they weren't sure what was wrong. And I just bolted, bolted and uh, told the girls like, sorry guys, uh, I, ha- I have to I gotta leave. Go. I got to go. I'm not going to be there tomorrow. And um one person, I was really surprised by who it was too. She was very sweet and it was over a stupid pedicure and she threw a fit and couldn't believe. And they're like, she is out. And I, we had a, we had a come into Jesus conversation when I got back. <laughs> with, with her? With her. Yeah. I was upset. I'm like that, that's a pedicure first of all. And I'm sorry, nails, they're not lungs. You can live without it. And <laughs> pedicure, you can definitely live without. And right. th- that was, the, I was shocked by it. I was really surprised by her. Yeah. I, you know, if yeah. all, out of all my people, she was usually so sweet and she pro- apologized profusely. So you kept her? I did keep her. Okay, I was going to say. She was just say, like, I'm so sorry. I was having a bad day and I shouldn't have done that. I'm like, well, you need to apologize to the girls. Yeah, yeah. I've seen Tracy um, draw the line. <laughs> and let me tell you, it ain't, uh, it's a little scary. It's a little scary <laughs> to get on Tracy's bad side. So be cool to Tracy, Aww. guys. Aww. <laughs> yeah. Aww. 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 I'm sweet. Uh-huh. uh-huh. I just have a switch. You say, you call it a switch. <laughs> There's a switch. I, I was just describing to somebody yesterday, like when that switch gets flipped, it's clear the way um it's real you know my switch really is um when you treat someone else poorly yeah i that I, that's not okay even here like i if, if i find out a customer service uh, one of our customer service girls was someone was cussing at them I, there's my switch yeah like i just it's not okay it's not okay for that to happen anywhere anytime yeah. any place like you can be courteous yeah. and talk nicely and still get your point across yeah i'm so, very protective of i know my friends. And yes, I've seen it. Coworkers. So. <laughs> <laughs> so let us know uh, your take on this. And even please tell us in the comments below what you've done, how you've communicated with your clients when you've had to be gone or any interesting stories as well. Please let us know in the comments below, because again, this helps other techs. They can read the comments and they can see your experience. It's going to help everybody out. Tracy, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for joining us and we'll see you next time on the BizTalk. Talk.